I'm Zach Bailey from Bain Wilker Equipment, Terre Haute. I'm going to talk to you real quickly about the diesel particulate filter regeneration process on the Kubota tractors. Uh, it's going to be the same for all of them. We're using an L-series in this case. So you have two buttons up here on your dash. Uh, you have one with a line through it. You have one that doesn't have a line through it. If your tractor is calling for a regeneration, which you'll know by a series of lights on the dash, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, the one you would like to hit is the button without the line through it. Uh, that'll, that'll initiate the uh, regeneration process. This process is outlined very well here on the fender. I would also say that your owner's manual is definitely your friend. It's uh, outlined in there as well. So this gives you a good run through. You have two conditions. You have either a, an active regeneration, just when you're actually using the tractor. It'll, you'll hear a small beep and a light will come on on the dash here that will say, uh, RPM has an arrow that points up. So in that case, you'd raise the RPM to the rabbit. Uh, you'd push the button that does not have the line through it, and your tractor will start a regeneration process. While that regeneration process is going on, you will be able to use the tractor, continue mowing, using the load or whatever operation you're doing. Uh, when the regeneration process has ceased, that light will go out. At that point, you can feel free to bring the idle back down to uh, mid or low, wherever you were, you were operating the tractor. If for some reason you have canceled the regeneration process several times, or it's a done a failed regeneration process, you're gonna have a second condition. In that case, you're going to have a red light on the dash, you're gonna have a beep, and it's going to have your parking light indicator. The tractor is calling for, in that case, what's called a parked regeneration. Uh, under the parked regeneration, Conditions are slightly different. You will not be able to use the tractor in the parked region. So to initiate the regeneration process there, much the same. Uh, you will put the tractor in neutral. You will bring the RPM down to the turtle or low RPM, set the parking brake. At that point, you'll press the button that does not have a line through it. RPM will raise on its own. Uh, this process will typically take about 15 to 20 minutes, depending upon how long the how long it's been since it's been regenerated. You might see some uh, some white smoke emitting from the exhaust. That's totally normal. At that point in time, when the regeneration is completed, lights will go off, RPM will drop back down to zero, and you're done. You can go back to using your tractor and uh, continue about your day. So that's pretty much the regeneration process on a Kubota.